mom refused to share her past with us, what could she be hiding? I think we should just forget trying to know the past she was talking about. Could it be she had an affair with several men and doesn't want us to know? Mm, I don't think so. I believe she was deceived in her little village by a man into taking an oath. You may have a point too. And another thing is that she doesn't want her daughter to be manipulated by someone who doesn't love her into the act of slavery. Yeah. I feel she's afraid of that. I think so. But you know, mom is not doing bad at all. She's not doing bad as a mother, as a wife, and as a businesswoman. No, she's not. She's not at all. I think we should respect her opinion for not telling us her past. Lucy. What's her name? Hello? He's here with me. Oh, okay. Hello, what's up? Okay, I will call you and tell you if I'm coming or not. It's alright. Mm. We'll see. I'm going to my room. Yeah, hello? Yeah, I'm on my way. I don't want to look for you when I come, okay? I'm coming. Okay. Uh -huh. Babe, you said you have something very important to discuss with me. Yes. What is that? It's about a dream I had. You, you just broke up with me. Really? Yes. In that dream, she didn't just break up with me. But he got married to someone who is close to me and to the family. Really? Babe, come on. It's just a mad dream, not a reality. Okay? But you don't understand it. See, you just have to take your mind off this before you start suspecting anyone that comes around me. Okay, I'll try. Baby, tell me the truth. Are you seeing someone behind my back? No. You know I can never compromise a relationship, no matter what. Okay, um... One last thing. Mm -hmm. I, I called my father after the dream and I told him that we're coming to see him regarding our marriage plans. You called your father? Yes. Why? Why must you, why must you tell your father that? Okay, the worst today's date is April 1st. Okay, I want you to call your father and tell him that you were just playing a prank. Okay? That you just want to do him April Fool. Baby, no! I am serious. I caught my father because of the dream I had. And I don't want what I saw in the dream to manifest. I don't want to lose you. You're not going to lose me to anyone, okay? Are you sure? Um, the shots. Bread I bought for you. I don't know what happened. I just have to go down the supermarket somewhere and uh, get another one. There's no problem. Let me change this and wait, you know, get something better. But before that, 
Kommer jag. Jag gör för dig. Jag gör det så. Blind? I didn't really notice that, okay? I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see you in time. You are lucky nothing happened to you. You would have seen the other side of me this afternoon. Hey, what is it, Mr. Man? What is it? Uh -uh. Babe, babe, My baby oh, said he's it. sorry, Wait, and you're here acting up as if it's a stop deliberate it's act. Okay, it's okay. Baby, who, who, who is this one now? Was I referring to you? What is your problem? Are you raising your voice at me? My friend, will you shut up? Just look at you. I'm sure you're one of those useless men who pounds on their women. Hey, look, look, look at you. You are not even up to the class of my girlfriend, top of. Hey, let me tell you, you don't ever compare your stupid girlfriend with me. I'm sure you are just one of those local champions, girl. Babe, look at you. Stop stop hold your woman. Stop if you don't hold her, I will slap hell out of her. Hey, you cannot slap hell out of you. You cannot slap me. You cannot slap me. Let me leave you alone and let me talk to this Hold your woman, I will slap her out of her. Are you mad? Are you mad? You want to slap me? No, 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 no. You want to slap me? 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 See, just take your useless car out of this place now before before eh? finally giving you here in the next. See, you know, you know, you know, I begged you initially. But Baby. if you dare raise your hand on my woman, Baby. you Nothing see yourself. You, you, you wanted to kill me here. I didn't mean you kill me here. You see the other side of me. Give me go ahead to kill some. You're mad. You're mad. Baby, give me go ahead to no, kill this mad man. Mad boyfriend with mad girlfriend. Baby, Two mad people inside the car. We are looking for somebody to kill. Let's go to your car now. Mad girlfriend. Ah, you're mad. You're mad. Stop it. You're mad. Stop it! Don't worry! Don't worry! Hello, Baby, I've been trying to call you back. Your line has been busy. You, you called me earlier. Baby, you said this man! You, you, said, you said this man! Hello? Ba baby! Baby, what's going on? Who is that? Victor! Victor! Hello? Come and fight me now! Are you mad? Come and fight me! Come and fight me! Come and fight me! Come and fight me! I'll kill this your girlfriend here! I'll kill her here! Don't come back here! Baby, I will not come back! I'm good! And you? So, what's up? Were you able to order the bags you saw online? Oh my dear, but... I'll place the order later today. Oh, okay. Okay. What up, David? Did he come to see you? Yes, he came. But you won't believe what happened today. One idiot, one stupid boy came in from nowhere. How could us upset? <laughs> if not for your brother, who had me back. Ah, God, you know what I can do. I would have showed him my madness. He's lucky. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I beg, I beg, I beg. Oh, your madness. No go sure. Can you imagine? Abba, can you just imagine? This guy was insulting me for no reason. Me? Hey. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. What actually happened? Trust me now. Trust me, Lucy. I showed him Pepe. Now, once I change him for a more, I even had to insult his generation. His family and that his stupid girlfriend was bragging with that smelly local stupid girl. Ha! <laughs> is that right? I hope no one is hurt. Mm, not at all. Thank God. At least you are able to control yourselves. Please calm down. Okay? Alright. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Later then. Bye. Lucy, <laughs> is a person provoking today. It's happening. 
Yeah. You can imagine my sister. See me, see Wahala, one stupid boy. Mm. Came from nowhere, insulting me. Mm. Me, me, Lucy. Ah, Are you see, you see this fight, it has not ended. As long as we're in this town, I will meet him somewhere and I will deal with him. I know you and I trust you. Me, for this. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, oh. You're very nice. Ah. What is your problem now? What is your problem with this game? Ha! Hello, Felix. I am at the location of the address you gave me on phone. But I can't see you. I've searched everywhere. Where are you? Hello? Sorry, are you Felix? Are you Mr. Koye? Oh, yes, yes, I am. Uh, Felix, are you Felix? I don't have the idea. Hello, hello, young man. Young man, are you Felix? Talk to me. Hello, Felix. Felix, why are you doing this to me? Are you, I mean, I, are you the one threatening me? Why are you doing this to me? What is going on? Please, talk to me. I've had enough of this place. No, you don't have to bring him on. Yes, I just want to see him first and know the kind of person he is. Okay. But you know nobody is perfect. I'm sure you're going to like his person, you see. I believe that no one is perfect, anyway. Yeah. What? I really met one guy today who coughed himself. What happened? But the guy really likes mass. But I allowed him, I, I just allowed him to fool himself with his so called girlfriend who is intoxicating him. Wait, he was with his girlfriend? No. He was just bragging with the girl as if the girl is so special. Bro, there's nothing wrong with a man bragging with a girl he loves so much. I agree with you, but not in front of my girl. Yeah. Oh, anyway, thank God you handled the whole thing maturely. Because Lucy called to tell me about it. Mm. Yeah. Ah, Daddy. Welcome, Daddy. Daddy, welcome. You know what thing I hate about dad and mom? They never love to share their challenges with their That's children. Cool.
is it? Why are you such in a moody state? What happened? Hello? I've never seen you in such a sorry state. Talk to me. What is it? Lucy. Lucy, talk to me. I'm here for you. Are you okay? Talk to me. Baby. I've never seen you in such a sullen state before. Talk to me. What is it? I just woke up from a dream. A dream? What dream? Yes. The same dream I told you about David getting married to someone close to me. And do you have any other female friend that is also close to David? No. You are lazy. Who is lazy? I got to know Dave. Full lazy. And she's no more in the country. And are you sure they are not communicating? I don't know. I don't. But I'll find out from her. Hello? Who? What's that? Lizzie, she just called to tell me that she's in town. She's in town. Hello, Ada. Yeah, how are you? Are you there alone or your brother is with you? I'm alone in my room. Is there any problem? Ada, who is Lizzie? Lizzie? Yeah. Lizzie, who is she? Um, the Lizzie I know is no longer in Nigeria. Um, and who is she to David? She's a close friend to David. As a matter of fact, it's through her. Your cousin even what is it? What's going on? Alright, I don't know how to put it, but my cousin had a dream and she told David about the dream. From the look of things, I think her dream is about to come to reality. What's the dream about? I suggest you ask your brother. Okay. Is there anything else? For you to know there is a sense in the dream she had. Lizzie is in town. For real? For real. Just ask your brother, then relate her dream to Lizzie's presence in town. Okay. Alright, good night. We'll talk tomorrow, okay? Right then, good night.
Anna? Huh? I was... I've been looking for you. Yeah, I went to give that his laptop and Amoka told me you're looking for me. Did you... go with Lucy? <laughs> you can imagine why she called me. Just to tell me about the dream she had. What about it? <laughs> that I got married to someone that is close to her and us. So she had to call her dad to tell him that we are coming to see him. <laughs> What's so funny? You know, I'm just trying to understand the whole thing. Coming to see them as what? As the man she's getting married to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. Well, when last did you hear from Lizzie? About two months ago. Yeah. Mm. But I didn't call to say Lizzie's in town. Are you serious? Yeah. So I think you should verify from Lucy. That's not possible. Lizzie cannot come into town without calling me on the phone. That's why I said you should verify from Lucy. Hell no. I can't do such a thing. She would believe that we're having something. And also believe that the dream she had is beginning to play out. And there's no way to make Lucy understand this is just a friend? That is it. Wow. So that means we have to wait until Lizzie calls. Because I'm sure if she's in town, she will definitely call you. It's okay. Let me go and sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. I am so exhausted. Good night. Good night. Oh. Five missed calls. What is this? Hello, who is this, please? Wow! Lizzie! Yeah, I was just told you were back in the country. Oh, you're welcome back, girl. Nice to have you back. <laughs> it's okay, I'm gonna save you over now. Okay. See you then. <laughs> wow. Dear, dear, ah. I looked for you in the room, you were not there. I'm here trying to assess some files in my laptop. My second phone is acting up. I don't know if you can help me call your phone engineer to fix it. Ah, well, I'll do that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I'll ask David to follow it up. Is that okay by you? Any other thing? You have told me what I want to hear. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Hello, now listen. If you ever let my daughter know about this, honestly, I will never forgive you. I know what you are up to. I know the game you are trying to play. But come out open. Say what you want. Yes? OK. 
Okay, I'll get back to you. What is that? What is the hidden truth? Hidden truth. Yeah. Yeah. To say my ears are itching me, itching me to hear. Yeah. Oh yeah. Say, what is the hidden truth? Hidden truth. To hear. Yeah. To say my ears are itching me, itching. Signs are not in vain. I know something is fake. Ah, uh, Ada. Emeka. How are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon. Uh, where are you coming from and where are you going to? <laughs> I went to buy a burger. <laughs> and I'm going to see someone. Oh, wow. That means I'm going to be your driver for today. <laughs> You're so funny. I'm sure I'm not going my direction. Don't worry. Yeah, just come in. Let me take you. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Thank you. Oh, I don't mind. I'll do it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. You don't need to thank me. You know you are part of my responsibility. All right. Bye. Okay. Your phone has been ringing. Thank you. Um, the person you came to check, is he not here yet? No, 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 but he's on his way. Oh, look. Tell your dad to get you a girl. A big girl like you should be cruising in her own car. Your dad is rich. Sure, sure, sure. I will soon be a car owner, don't worry. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Why did you ask me to stop? What is the need of staying in this car which we're not responding to me? What's the need? Even your facial expression shows that you, you are angry. If something is wrong, open up to me. I am supposed to be the one angry here and not you. Really? Yes. You know what? Open this car. Open this car! 
What is wrong with you? Calm down now. People will think we are fighting. But that is what is happening. We are fighting. We are not fighting. Just calm down. You know what? You can keep the suppress to yourself. I don't need it. I just saw was David now. I wouldn't know. Who did you see? Lizzie! I just saw the both entering an hotel. What? You're kidding, right? I'm serious. So, so, so David has been cheating on me all this while? Huh. Babe, I am sure that Lizzie has been in this town even before David returned from his NYC. Okay, fine. Just calm down. Calm down. Find out what they are up to. Calm down. Use your head very well. Don't cause a scene there, Lucy. I know you. Don't cause a scene. No problem. Just trust me. I will handle this wisely. Thank God you said right. You guys have to stop. Ah, no, no, okay? no, 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 no. Let me tell you something. David here is mine. So stop flirting around people's minds. Yes. Stop! What, 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 what? what should you do that? From me? From me? Ah, uh, Lizzie, you haven't seen anything yet. I will show you that I am Mother Margaret Tasha. <laughs> Can you just calm down? Bring down your voice. Eh? If the neighbor hears you now, they'll think we are here fighting. What is it? Let them hear. Yes! <laughs> Let them hear! What is this? Yes, girl, I'm just tired. I'm tired. Come oh. on, oh. give somebody shit in this house. Oh, it, it was Lizzie I saw in my dreams. I 
कैसे Have to stop. Ah, no, no, okay? no, 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 no. Let me tell you something. David here is mine. So stop flirting around people's minds. Shut up! What, 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 what? What's it that is? I'll do it again. Come on. Hey! Hey! hey. hey. Uh, babe, you said you have something very important to discuss with me. Yes. What is that? It's about a dream I had. You, you, you just broke up with me. Really? Yes. In that dream, she didn't just break up with me, but she got married to someone who is close to me and to the family. Really? Hey, come on. It's just a mere dream, not a reality. Okay? I don't understand it. See, you just have to take your mind off this before you start suspecting anyone that comes around me. Did you go with Lucy? You can imagine why she called me. Just to tell me about the dream she had. What about it? <laughs> that I got married to someone that is close to her and us. So she had to call her dad to tell him that we are coming to see him. <laughs> What's so funny? You know, I'm just trying to understand the whole thing. Coming to see them as what? As the man she's getting married to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. Well, when last did you hear from Lizzie? About two months ago. Yeah. Mm. But Irene called to say Lizzie's in town. Are you serious? Yeah. So I think you should verify from Lucy. That's not possible. Lucy cannot come into town without calling me on the phone. That's why I said you should verify from Lucy. Hell no. I can't do such a thing. She would believe that you were having something. And also believe that the dream she had is beginning to play out. What's bothering you? Then? Lucy picked up a fight with Lizzie today. Uh, how? I went to see Lizzie in the hotel where she's lodged, and immediately Lucy saw us, and she thought we were having something. Immediately she picked up a fight and started insulting Lizzie. They engaged in a fight, a serious fight for that matter. I tried separating them, but it wasn't working out. So some other persons just came along to help me to separate them. It was like a royal rumble. Why is Lucy like this? Hmm? And the funniest part is she doesn't want to change. There is an extent to what I can take. But if it gets to what I cannot control, then good radiance to bad. 
rubbish. I'll talk to him. It's okay. It's okay, I've heard. I'm here. I need to see that you're Okay, sir. Tomorrow I'll talk to him. Then you guys will talk. Good. It's I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be in my room. Okay. Oh, why me? Why is this happening to me? Oh, wait, you mean why she was fighting? Taekwondo, karate, um, uh, uh, what, what do we call this again? She was even using bottle. Let's see, I, I didn't mention bottle, please. I did not mention bottles. <laughs> come off it, I was just catching my phone. Um, but come to think of it, this is your girl, not the try you, Lucy. Eh? Try the advice that girl. Advise that girl to change from this account of making troubles everywhere. I am not going to tell her anything, no. Because talking to her is like pouring water on a stone. Talking to a dumb head. I am tired of... of I'm just tired and fed up of the whole thing. Hi. Do you know... And Lizzie did not tell me anything. You don't even know the kind of person Lizzie is. Lizzie would love to meet with you face to face before anything. Else the issue is a serious one. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Somebody bring uh, this parcel come. He said, May I give you? What's the name of the person? Uh, uh, hey. He said, His name is Felix. Felix. Uh, Let me have it. Um, well, listen. Anytime anyone looks for me, make sure you don't open the door for the person. The person must call me on phone first. It applies to everyone. Eh? Okay, sir. Say, may they call you for phone first yes, before sir. go to the open gate for very, anybody. Very good. We're on the same page. Yes. Now you can go back to it. Okay, sir. Eh, uh, Oga, you, you know, say again, wait till you promise me. I don't know whether if you activate or not. I will I'll do that. I'll see to it. Eh? Go back to your duty post. Did you get these pictures? Okay. Okay. I'll comply. She said deal. What Lucy D wasn't called for? What she did was very embarrassing and so disgusting for my liking. I have never been so humiliated before. How could she think that I, Lizzie, is having an affair with you? How? I'm sorry about that, okay? You know, Lucy has this disgusting, terrible attitude towards things. She doesn't even think through things before carrying out an act. I thought she must have changed by now. But looking at what she displayed, I think she has a lot to deal with about herself. Please, just forgive her, okay? She's a friend. Uh, don't allow what happened to ruin the friendship. But I feel guilt for a long time now. Then talk some sense into her. How can she believe in that she has no friends? With her attitude, she has chased everyone away. I was the only one who stood by her, and that's because I was ready to chew and swallow her nonsense. 
That's why up to now you guys are still getting along. Not anymore. <sighs> Babe, don't say that. I knew Lucy through you. As a matter of fact, you are the one that even played the major role to make me fall in love with her before you traveled. So don't make it look, to look as if I'm the one that is making you to cut ties with her. Okay, while you're at it, talk some senses into her. Because if a madness pops up, whatever you see, you take it. <laughs> Please, I don't want to believe I am talking to another Lucy here. Even for this, that. <laughs> and I just calm down. Calm down. Don't be too hard on yourself. But I would advise you tell David before your mom, if you ask me. <laughs> See, they are just concerned about you. If your parents, they are concerned about you. At least, not like they are treating you like a child. But you told me they said you're mature enough to know what's good for you. So, fine, it's okay, I understand. Calm down, I get. <laughs> I know, <don't>, my friend. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, tell me, where are you? How is mommy and daddy? Are you serious? Alone in that big house of. Hey, <laughs> they try. <laughs> mm. No, no. My time with Lucy has not expired, though. <laughs> Don't worry, it will soon expire. Then you have me all to yourself. <laughs> all right, girl. Take very good care of yourself, eh? Bye. Why you they do like this now? Eh? You want me to sack person? Eh? What is wrong with you? I mean, what is wrong with both of you? Oh, you now talk to me as if I'm a stranger in this house. John Boo, oh, you have no regard for me, right? Let me tell you, I have rights more than any of you in this house. You're just ordinary gate man. Hey, 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 hey. Wait. Did brother David and Stada know you are coming? Do I need to take permission first? Huh? Don't be decent in I ask you. See, make you just call them. No, no. Eh? But sister Lucy, you know, this, this thing you're doing, it's not right. You need to call them first. I don't know if we can let you in. And so what? And so what? Oh, you want to lecture me on what is right or wrong? Eh? Okay. Come. Come here. Where? I said come. No, no, not touch Amo. Eh? No, not touch Amo. Eh? Wait, I go, I, I go change her for you now. Eh? You, 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 you define who they go sack, Abi. You want to fight me? Ah. In my own father in law's house. Mm. You want to fight me? Okay, there's no problem. But you know what? I will report the both of you to David. I will tell him that you two refused me from entering this house. But no, hey, 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 you waiting? Eh? Now others now will follow. I now just make you call them. Now others will follow. Yes. Uh, not be say we not want me you call me or oh, this thing. Uh, you be like thief for our eye. Not be say we not say me you call me. Uh, wait till. Yeah. Hey, 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 leave a bow. Leave a bow. Me I not change that for you now. Leave, leave, hey. leave a bow. Yeah. Hey. Don't worry, I'll come back for this. This God. You will lose your jobs. I've been off. Up never. See color. Don't worry, I'll come back for this. This God. Don't worry, It's me, David. Coming. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. Where is Lucy? Um, I've been calling her phone, but she's not picking. She said she'll be going to her new shop, then to your place. Oh, okay. Let me call her again. All right. Chance to talk to you. Mm. I'm, I'm 
sorry, I'm sorry about who I spoke to you. Is it not those your stupid gate man and maid to just copy paste today? So what happened? Baby, can you imagine? Those things refusing me from entering my father's in-laws house to be. You can imagine that insult, Lucy. Yes? Is it human beings you just refer to as things? That's inappropriate. Especially coming from an educated girl like you. Irene, please. I beg, Irene. Listen, this is my matter. So allow me to express myself the way I want. Um, Lucy, do you really think before you say anything? Hmm? Are you? Do you also want to insult me in my own house? Hey, 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 my friend, just shut up and listen. Just keep quiet and listen. What is wrong with you? Are you on drugs or something? Eh? I can go through you. What is that? Lucy in the morning? Lucy in the night? Lucy in the afternoon? Lucy, 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 Lucy. are you a Lucifer? Eh? What is it? You need to get your head examined to know what is wrong with you. Koala. Irene. Huh? Was that David that just spoke to me like that or someone else? Just tell me before I open my eyes! I don't know. Maybe you need to do some findings about yourself. Huh? You need to work on yourself. Irene, please! Please, do not lecture me here. Please, I don't want your lectures. I don't want your lectures. Don't let me use this shoe on you right now. Because I'm pissed already. What I'm saying is you should check out and find out what is wrong with you. Period. So you mean she tried forcing herself in, even after you both told her we were not around? <laughs> yes, so sister. Thank God JB was here. She nearly beat me up when I asked her if brother David and you were aware of her coming. Hmm. Hey. Now you not even know. You don't know the film when play today. You see gently. Ask Jackie Chan. Eh? Hey, Usain Bolt. When we say they run, come the movie. Not be smart. Nothing when we not here today. He say hey, whether I did during the foundation of this house. Na, be like I lay the first block. Say I get the right to enter. Yeah, nine father in law place. Me I can say okay if you get right, me go get left. But I not go let you enter. Jumbo, <laughs> it's okay. Hey, I am happy she did not create a scene here. Hmm? Next time, if she refuses to call any of us, you both can call. Mm. Same applies to any other visitor that comes here. Call us before letting anyone in. Uh, we don't hear you, ma. <laughs> Jumbo, eh? I have told you to call me Ada. Or better still, Stella. Eh, okay, Ada. <laughs> Case all set too. <laughs> better come in. Okay. Eh, my food, though. Then they not forget that one. Have a small fight today. I need to show. Hey, oh boy, this uh, plumber, when they say make a call safe, don't forget to. I'll be number. You can't be telling me that. It is written all over your face. 
What happened? I said I am fine. Okay. Is that right? I'm just trying to show concern. Thank you. I had it hot with Lucy today. Lucy again? Yes. So I left. Coming back to pick the car keys I forgot on the table. Entering the house, the next thing I saw my face was her shoe. What? You mean Lucy threw her shoe on your face? Ada, it wasn't deliberate. Please, just, just don't tell me that. What if one of your eyes got blinded, or the two of them? I am going to show Lucy that her own madness is still attending kindergarten. I will show her the real madness. She's stupid. Ada, it wasn't deliberate. I think we should stop her because with the way she's going, something bad might happen. Ada, is David in? Does this place look like a house to you? And moreover, why do you want to see him? I just want to apologize to him. Are you listening to me? If you feel my brother is too humble and gentle for you to have handled, I am here to let you know that he has a sister who is as mad as you are. Are you talking to me like Oh, that? please shut up. Shut the hell up. Who are you that I cannot talk to you? Whose daughter are you? I thought you are pushing me. You really? say what? Like you are pushing then me. Then do your worst. See what you're doing. Yes. You know if mom and dad comes out here, they won't like what you're doing. See what you're doing, Ada. What is it? It's, it's okay. Stop it. Stop it now. Stop you it. know, I know what you're doing. This you are just jealous because Back you didn't send anybody to love you. Like you said I told you. Just hold this, your expired dog. Hey, go back to the house. Let it be. Go back to the house. Go back to the house. Let it be. Let me alone. 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 Let me What is this? Hey, hey, hey. What's going on here? What was this? Huh? What is going on here? Mom, I I I don't know. Eh? What is this now? This is so unbelievable. You mean the two of you couldn't have settled whatever it was? In here? Why would you create a scene out there? Why? Mom, I'm very sure that Lucy is scared of the fight in front of the house. Ada wouldn't have done that if she didn't go beyond her limits. Excuse me. Like, what are you saying? Why are you sounding as if you were there when it all started? I don't blame you. That is your sister, so you always support her. But wait a minute. Like, did you expect me to fold my arms? And watch your sister slap me. Just, 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 just listen to yourself. Listen to yourself speak. Mom, I only went to warn her not to repeat what she did to my brother. Next thing, she attacked me. No, you're a liar. You attacked me first. No, you attacked no, me. You stop! Stop! It. stop! That's enough. I thought you were friends. Mom, that was before. That was just then. Then, not after what she did to my brother. Mad girl, think you know is mad. 
And you, David, if you had played a good part, I'm sure what happened wouldn't have happened. Mom, they are two close friends, so I was surprised they could fight each other. Yes, but I'm so sorry that this whole thing happened because of me. Mom, I'm sorry. Mom, I'm sorry. Lucy. You are a woman. And a very beautiful one at that. Why would you fight? Because of hearsay. A woman is supposed to be calm. What makes you a strong woman is your ability to control your anger and do things the normal way. Your ability to like settle issues without getting violent. That's what makes you a woman. I've heard you more. I'll try to change. Amen! Oh. Glory, hallelujah. God has answered my prayer, so... Ada, what is wrong with you? Will you stop? Enough! Enough! And you, Ada, this is not how I raised you. I raised you to become a lady, not a street fighter. I hope this will never repeat itself. I'm tired. I'll leave you three to settle this whole thing as adults. Excuse me. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Excuse me, too. Baby, baby, I I am so sorry. I didn't mean it this way. It's okay, I've let go. It's okay. I mean, you've forgiven me. Let's go. Oh, come here. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh. Having some headache. I need to go rest my head, okay? Yeah. Ah. Why am I so unlucky? Why should I keep crying night? Every day is from one problem to the other. I tears up and tears. I warned you. I told you not to go. Take a chill pill. Calm down. Let 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 let, let his temper calm. You won't listen, you've gone. See what you've cost. Enough, enough, please. Enough. I, I don't want I don't want all these lectures, please. Are you too? Oh, who is there? It's me. Who? Oh, big sis. I'm back. Irene. Hey. It's quite a long time. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Too. Um Vic says I came because of the call you pulled through. Yeah, um, you don't have to worry about anything. I don't show you say I don't show. You understand? I'm going to make sure I fix things. Alright? I don't show you say I don't show you. Don't panic. Obi is here. Obino is here for you. Alright? Um, <coughs> I, I hope you have something to share I understand Lucy has had two problems, but that does not mean you should go ahead and fight her. Then I didn't fight her. She started the whole thing. I didn't fight her. But if you didn't leave the house at the time, this wouldn't have happened. It's not that your brother is not okay. It's okay. It's fine. So you should thank God for that. I heard you, Dad. I'm sorry. It's okay. Just understand that Lucy is your sister-in-law to be. 
that she's not a wife material. Really? Yes, uh, because I've tried to change her, but it's not working. It's up to you. Um, the police are your card, so. You're talking as if you don't know who Lucy is. Who is she? Her character should not be strange to you by now. And even the way you attacked her, you are ready for her battle and my hands are off. I'm very much ready. I mean, who is she that I cannot talk to her? Onyeko, who is she? She's so lucky today. She is so lucky that my brother Namaka intervened. If not, I would have torn her apart. Foolish thing. Babe, it's okay. Okay. Fine, I apologize on her behalf, okay? Please, just... She's your friend though. Lucy is our friend, please. Hmm? Well, that's by gone. I've forgotten everything. <laughs> that's my girl, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, hey you. What's up? Why are you still coming over for the Very stupid. See the way he dragged you. It didn't even occur to him that there might be someone very close to you. Hmm? It's okay. He could have checked. He could have checked if I'm someone very close to you. He doesn't have manners it's at okay. all. It's okay. It's okay now, David. Look, I'm very sure if you get to meet him and have a talk with him, he will like you. He's a very likable person. Must he drag you that way? Women are very soft. They are very tender to handle. What if he hurts you? He hurts you. Eh? Look, I'm not that fragile. I'm a super woman. You super I'm a strong woman. woman. You super I'm a strong woman. <laughs> come, come on, Mitzi. You like to know. Come on. Come I am coming. Go first. I'm coming. Waiting for you. Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> It's okay. But keep it up, let it my You overreacted. Well, but you don't do anything. How are you trying to protect me? By using your muscles to drag me. It's okay. When you come, you are just. You fuck up big time. How could you do this to my sister? Your own childhood friend. We shall see. Yes, I'm on my Yes, I'll soon be there. But please, after this, don't go this life. Amaka? Sir. Where has your mom gone to? She has gone to the shop, sir. So early? Yes, sir. Um, 
So she left without telling me. Anyway, um, I've paid for AGC and also with some money for your miscellaneous, your transport and things like that. Thank you very much, sir. God oh, bless you. You're welcome. I really appreciate this. Let me go. Hello? Oh. Hello, sir. Thank you. Hello, boss. Yes, I've got found. There's money. Okay, okay. I'm looking for David, yep. Lucy called me this morning and said uh, you have not been keeping in touch with her. Uh, was it the problem you guys had the other time? That... Emeka, to be honest with you, huh, I am done. I am tired with that relationship. You know, I'm tr uh, I've tried so much to make it work, to make her change, but it's not working out at all. I think she's not my type, okay? I've tried to change her, but it's not working out. So, I don't think I can cope. Um, have you discussed this with her since then? How many times? Well, she keeps saying, I am sorry. I will change. But no way, she's not changing. Um, this is not what I'm talking about. I mean, have you discussed with her that you're no longer interested in the relationship? Anyway, my absence alone will tell her that I'm done. I don't need to start discussing or dialoguing that issue with her. David, you are talking as if you are the only one in this relationship. Look, you have to call her and tell her this. So she will not be thinking she's still your girl. Mm, I think you have a point there. I think I have to do just that. Yes. Oh, that's a serious point. That's better, but um, you need to think this through, if this is exactly what you want. I have thought of this over and over and over again, but I think I'm standing on my decision. Uh, okay then, I have to go. It's okay bro. Have a nice day. You take day. care. Eh? Okay. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, I'll see you. Okay. Uh. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Okay. What of Amaka? Okay, she's inside. Okay. Yeah, you can meet her there. Who are you? Ah, ah, need to go. You know, I don't like to stop. He doesn't like us coming into this just class. Give me a little time, okay? We are hungry. You're always bothering yourself. Please go in. Just as we agreed. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is your own share of the money. Take it. Wow. Put it inside the same bed. Thanks, boss. Now he's doing business with you. I hope to do more business with you. 
Okay, sir. Thank you. Take care. Be careful. to tell you now might hurt you, it might piss you off, but I'm just going to tell you the truth, okay? I don't think I can continue with this relationship because I can see we are not compatible. You know, this whole thing is getting me crazy. Not that, listen, not that anybody told me what to do. Okay? It was my decision. I decided on doing this. And I just want to end the relationship. Mama. It's, 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 Mama. It's, this is not working out between us. It's not really working out. So I don't see the reason we should be deceiving ourselves doing this. But David, I... If it's about me... <sighs> Chief Ma giving you pressure and getting married to me. I am sorry. I, I, I can't wait anytime, anyhow, whenever you're ready. I'll wait. Lucy, it's not all about marriage. It's all about my decision. I cannot continue with this relationship. We are not compatible. Okay? Love is a thing of the heart. But I, I, I don't think I can go on again with you. So please, for your information, when you meet another man out there, try and be good. I am sorry. It cannot work. Okay? And one more thing. change your attitude. Goodbye. Changed. Maybe. I'm sure. And that has me hand in this. Uh, yes, J listen, 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 Felix. I am calling to tell you I don't want to receive any calls on this issue again. Please, no more threat. Adam must not be aware of this. Neither anyone should know. Mr. Nathaniel Okoye, calm down, calm your nerves. I'm the only one that knows your little secrets. Yeah, nobody should know that Adam is an adopted child. Across my heart. Yeah, thanks doing business with you, bro. Keep your own side of the bargain, right? You are lucky I'm not I'm not standing with you face to face. I would have given you a punch that would remove all your teeth. What is the hidden truth? What's wrong? You look so moody. What's going on? He broke up with me. You mean David? Yes. What? He 
said he is no longer interested in our relationship. What is wrong with that guy? Is he crazy? Like, is he mad or something? What's wrong with him? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm very sure Ada polluted his mind against me. Ada. I know. What's really going on? I'm glad I have some of her pictures with me. No one toys with my sister and goes caught free. I'm definitely going to deal with these people. I swear. I swear. David will pay for this. He will regret this. David will come back here begging. I swear. Wow. I think I need to change my plans. No. It's okay. I will handle it. Nothing is okay. I have to claim some damages. You need to put yourself together. Let me see one or two pieces. I'll be right back. Obi. Lucy, what is wrong with Obi? And why is your face like this? Lucy. Talk to me, what is it? Make I tell you what it happened for Abule. Even when you know the way for the Abule. For your whole life tight. Hey, 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 who be that one? Eh? You know, if you get respect for, for mansion like this, say if you knock, you will waste more, may they observe you before you knock again. Oh, let me change that for you. I'll knock in here. Ah, sister Ada. Ada. This face is not normal. That's if you are full. No, no, no. This face is not a normal face to me. You can attend to me. This is not a normal face at all. Ah. No, 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 no. Sister, that. Sister Ada, <laughs> sorry, Ada, eh, I say make a come no waiting make your face be like that just now when you take past me. Eh? eh. Ada? Okay, you know what? Um... Jabu! Eh? 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 Jesus! Eh? Hmm? See, eh? Anybody, when make your face be like this, when put you for this mood, Holy Ghost fire! Go knock the person here. Eh? In fact, the person go. The nails are cuts. Now! Which one? This one just now. Oh, okay. Uh, anybody, when put you for this mood, when make your face be like a caraway not done so, Holy Ghost fire go messy for the person. Uh, the person not go walk naked, uh, but go walk naked in that bedroom. In Jesus' name, I denounce the cause now. Amen. Hey, but what do you say? Get out! Eh? Mari, go, eh? I said get out! Sorry.
Lizzie, are, are you really serious about this abroad stuff? Yes. Once my visa is ready, I'm off. Really? Yes. Yeah. Um, before I forget, meet my friend Lucy. Lucy, David. Hi, Lucy. <coughs> Dave. I know. I know your name. For real? Yes. <laughs> I thought your sister had told me a lot about you. Wow. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. So you know my sister? Yes, I met her through Lizzie. Yes, she's been to my shop several days. <laughs> Both of them became best of friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, how come I never met you? Well, I, I've been here just twice. Just that you were never around. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, let me lead both of you to catch up with each other. While I meet up with Ada in her room. You don't actually eat bears in this town. No, but I will soon. Soon? Yeah, I'll be taking over Lizzie's shop. So I'm um, kind of paying her off for the shop so that I can handle the tech business and stuff while she's gone. Wow, that's good to hear. Thank you. So, I, I hope I'll see you more often. Maybe because I don't... I'm not always around. Don't worry, I can always come around to see you in school. Hope you don't mind. It's like you're so caring. So unlucky Oga oh, David uh, Sorry, I see make I ask you You do okay? Yes, I'm fine Eh yeah. Because it'd be like saying the same sickness when they do other Nine they do you so. I don't understand. What are you talking about? Is that sick? Eh, yeah. you know, sir, I'm not be doctor, but from the way I the observer, man, he, he be like. Where is she now? Eh, she there inside. <laughs> Make it not be the same thing when they do chemotherapy for worry. When we call they say chemotherapy, they sick, they sick. We don't know say like we ask. Now he don't shop. Now when he come, they confess who is. Now we come no say Kemute. Sorry. Eh? Who is the witch? Eh no, Kemute for worry. Eh. 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 Now Kemute. No more. Thank you so much. I enjoyed every bit of it. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed the trip. Mm -hmm. And I am happy I didn't disappoint you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I am so happy. My birthday gift was fulfilled, Lisa. I couldn't have turned this down. And then Lizzie have already told me that they decided to give you a gift and that was this outing that's me hanging out with you oh yeah 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 <laughs> i hope it's making you feel better yes i i am happy <laughs> you know you are such a very pleasant person to be with david you're caring you're a wonderful man and um, I must say, every moment spent with you is what it's at least <laughs> it brings us together and closer and closer. You know, I, David, I, I don't know if it's right for a lady to say this, but I must say it. I, I am beginning to fall for you. <laughs>
here earlier and asked me to get her a glass of water. I guess she must be in her room. Maybe. Let me have the water. I ask Maka to bring for you.
What's but a smile, little sister? The expression on your face sends a signal that all is not well. What is it? I'm having a headache. If you don't mind, I love to be left alone. I need to. I need to cool off my head. Please. Have you had any medications? Not yet. It's okay. When you're ready to talk, I'll be in my room. It's just filled up with different thoughts, hoping in one after the other. Oh, I think I need to go on. Take a shower and relax before I get mad. Oh. I have some beverages at the back seat of the car. Okay. Just help me bring them in, okay? All right. By the way, is her dad at home? Yes, ma'am. She's in her room. Good. Go and call her. Hmm? I need her to do some calculations for me. I'm here. Go, 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 go. All right.
Brother yeah. JB, please help me carry those stuff inside your please. Eh. Hey. Hey. You know, say, nothing goes for nothing, no. And even for free time, nothing is free. Hey. I go help you, but eh. Uh, you know, these days I can't notice say, the hand when you take the give me food don't change. Eh? Eh, the food, the gas, you can't take the put out. So now, eh, for today on, you go put out for two plates. Eh? Eh? eh so that you go get weight. No problem. Just help me out. Eh? Not be no problem, oh. Agreement is agreement, oh. Eh? eh. Not be when I don't help you finish now. Nah. Eh, the next thing, eh, you can say, eh, one thing happen. Eh. See, you get one place where they call in Taboa. Now there they go swear for people. Oh. Eh? Nothing will happen, I beg. You too like food again. Ah, it's not as if you are getting fat to after it. Don't worry, I'll give it to you. Hello? Yes, don't worry. My daughter is um, trying to do the calculations for me. Once she's done, I'll send the quotation to you. Okay, thank you. What is it? Mom said I should call you. Then I'm coming. Are you all right? What is wrong with you? I'm not feeling too strong. Have you seen the doctor? I had wanted you to do some calculations for me, but since you're not feeling fine, it's okay. Amaka will help me. You need to go and rest. After that, you can see the doctor. Okay?
long. I was trying to gather all my things. I don't forget anything. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy that you're going to the university now. But I want you to know that the higher you go, the tougher it becomes. University is not like secondary or no. primary schools. It is different. So you need to study harder. Okay? I know now. I promise not to disappoint you. I know. Believe you. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I'll come from time to time to visit you. <laughs> the same promise your brother gave me and he never did. Because your father was sending money to him whether he asked or not. And you know he's a man. I'm a woman. I understand your feelings. I'll always come. You know, your father will be waiting for you. Promise me. He will visit me regularly. I promise him. I will. I love you. I love you too. All right. Your father is in the car waiting before he starts shouting. So so happy. I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> I can't believe that me, a daughter of yesterday, is on her way to the university. I'm so happy. <laughs> well, that's our prayer answered. That has answered our prayers. But all I need for you is when you get to school. Please, please, please. Be studious. Take your studies serious. Don't Join that company. Avoid anything that will make you look like those lazy and lousy students. Please. I know where I'm coming from, Dad. I promise not to let your mom down. That's great. Not a talking. You see, because you're my only daughter, I am ready to do anything for you. Anything that will make you happy. Thank you, Dad. I wouldn't have asked for a better father. And me too. <laughs> I wouldn't have wished for a better daughter. Thank you so much, Dad. You're welcome. <laughs> Truth about me. <sighs> Who I share this with? Who? Is there something you want to tell me? Hmm? Oh, 
You see, I am... I am your brother. Your elder brother. You can divulge anything to me. Anytime. <laughs> what is it? I don't want to see it. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Please talk to me. Talk to me. What is it? <laughs> David. David, I am not who you think I am. <laughs> what? I I don't understand. I saw a flash on the floor. It looks exactly like mine. Okay. So I picked it. I wanted to go through the content to be sure if it is really mine. What I saw, what I saw, got me so confused. And what was that? of your wife. I had to follow you and your wife up, taking all these pictures because I was waiting for this day. And I shouldn't have done this hadn't been you helped me in the hospital when I requested for your help about my wife. not sad for this flight, Father, because if I do, I will turn this house into a living hell for all of you, especially you, Adam and David. What about why someone will see a flag and it, it suddenly turns to me and the center to hold it in this house? That will keep it without releasing it. Oh yes, I've been inside for a while now. Any problem? Yes, I'm looking for my flash. It was somewhere around this place. Did you did, did you see it? No, I didn't see it. Have you asked David? Yes, I did. And David said he did see it. Oh. Araka, have you searched very well? No, but when I was sweeping the house, I didn't see anything like that. 
Uh, it's possible it fell after you swept the parlor and all of that. Just search again, okay? Go search that way. Let me search it. Make sure you produce this flash. That's all I want. But are you sure it's not in your room? It's not in my room. There's a flash here. Where? <coughs> Where did you see it? That side. Dad, is this a flash you're looking yes. for? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, please, sir. Um, I'll give me the way I'm not there again. I'm sorry. I'm glad you found it. I'm glad you found it. So, but what actually is? No, it's white lights. You can go. I saw pictures of mom in a hospital with pregnancy. Some of those pictures were she and dad. Some were she with a boy of three years. At first, I thought it was the baby in her womb. <sighs> but the voice note. <sighs> the voice note to listen. <sighs> Made me develop interest. In the whole issue. So I followed that up on the matter. You see if my doubts were right. Today, I overheard dad on the phone pleading with someone, begging him, seriously begging the person. Not to let me find out the truth. The person gave that an address, and I was familiar with the address because the place is very close to Victor's house, and then. That told the person that he would get money across to him in two hours time. to get my daughter's number. It's my business because she is my daughter. No, 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 please. Keep my daughter out of this. I wouldn't want her to know about this, please. Okay. I'll send the money. Just send me your location. Twenty-five Uchenda Drive. 
I know of which end is straight. Okay. The one by Kingsway Superstars. Okay, okay, I know the place. Please, just give me time. Give me two hours to arrange the money. I'll come over there. Exactly what the real truth about me is. Mr. Nathaniel Okoye, calm down, calm your nerves. I'm the only one that knows your little secrets. Yeah, nobody should know that Arthur is an adopted child. I cross my heart. Yeah, thanks for doing business with you. Bro. So, I went ahead of that to the police. So, you see, I am not the biological daughter of Mr. Nathan Okoye. He's not my father. Are you sure this is true? If it isn't true, why did that go to the place? And why did he give him money? straight to mom. I better still wait for that to come back because I need to confront them. I need them to tell me who I am. I want to know who I am. Come down. Come down. I Please. want to know my face. It's I want okay. to Just know David. It. I don't know what to think anymore. On, I don't know what to easy. do. What See. do you want me to do? See, going to confront <laughs> mom and dad is going to be a bad idea. Okay? <laughs> I think I have an idea on how to find out who we truly are. We?
sorry, sorry, sorry. It's okay, it's okay, I won't. Fast, Amaka! What is the hidden truth? Hidden truth. To say, my ears are eating me. heaviest burden we can carry are the thoughts in our head. You have to stay strong and we don't have to let them know that we've known the truth. Yes. Why? Because for them to Keep the secret away from us. They must have a reason. Yes. No matter what the case may be, I want you to know that they did not do it intentionally to hurt you. Okay? I want you to go in there, on the shower, allow the water to pour on you. You see yourself coming out a strong woman. You will be rejuvenated. You go in there and refresh yourself while I go prepare your favorites for you. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. What would I have done if I don't have a brother like you? Thank you. Thank God you have one. I'll be right back. Go take some shower. Let us see. I know how you're feeling about this right now. You just have to take it easy, okay? No, you don't understand. But please try and control yourself. You have absolutely no idea how it feels after finding out the people you taught were your biological parents. Happens to be your foster parents. And they hid this away from me for years! They are still your parents. No, they are not. You are lucky. At least the DNA test proves that you are their biological son. While I am not. You know what? They are going to tell me who my biological parents are! Shh, shh, shh. Down, Take it easy. I know dad and mom are not home now. But I do not want Jambul and Amaka to... I mean, they must not hear of this. Okay? They must not know about it. 
Just come down, please. Try and control yourself. Oh. Why am I so unlucky? Why should I keep crying? I, every day is from one problem to the other. I tears up on tears every day. Oh, why me? Hey, oh, why? Who's there? It's me. Hey, hey. How are you? What is this? It's breakfast. She's there. She's okay. I never knew you were good at things like this. <laughs> you know, I have to learn all those stuff back then in school and it's really helping me now. Thank you. It's okay. You're welcome. Her mom told me that you've not been picking her calls since yesterday. If she calls again, try and pick her calls, okay? And that's on as well. I am taking Lizzie to her new shop to get some things. I will see you when I come back. Hmm. Okay? Come on. Come on, come on, eat. Baby, come on, eat. Are you okay? Okay, you'll be fine, okay? Eat, eat, eat your food. Where are you? I'm at the hotel. David, I'm being followed. You've been followed? By who? I don't know. I came down from the cab. After, after a while, I saw another cab right behind me. I, I noticed they were moving a little bit slow. After a while, two guys came down. I minded my business, but they were coming very fast. David, I ran. And they also ran. Not until I managed to escape. I, I, saw, I saw this small shop and some guys helped me. That was when they came. That was when they went back. Are you being disturbed by anybody around there? No, no. Okay. Just please find your way out of that place, okay? I am waiting for you at the hotel. Okay, please, David, hurry. Hurry, I'm very scared. I'm scared, please. Good.
Victor. Good afternoon. Baby, how are you? I'm fine. Good morning. Are you sure you're fine? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm fine. I've been calling you for the past two days now. And you've not been taking my calls. Sorry. I've been having a... We're having a hard time. Yeah. It's not something I can discuss with you over the phone. Okay. Come pick me. Where? Your house? Yes, my house. No way. You know I can't stand the face of your parents. Why? They traveled. I'm the only one at home. Really? Okay. If you're still uncomfortable, when you're on your way, let me know. So I'll come outside. Hello? Mom, sorry I was on call. Yes, I saw your missed calls, but I was in a very noisy environment. I was busy. Shop? No, I didn't go. Maybe tomorrow. Um, I can't, I can't go today, please. I think Lucy is behind this. No, I don't think it's Lucy. I'm sure it's one of those street boys. Maybe they got an information and just got back from abroad. I have my reasons of suspecting her. Which is? She's been calling since yesterday, but I didn't pick up. Okay, but why? Yesterday wasn't pleasant for me. Yes. It's not as if I'm ignoring her calls, you know. So she might be thinking that I'm with you when she was calling, so I had to ignore her calls. But we are not dating. That is my point. She doesn't want to hear that at all. Okay, um, I'll see her and talk to her myself. No need. We don't have anything anymore. You mean it's over between the both of you? Yes. It's not working out. I mean, there's no need for us deceiving ourselves. <sighs> I see. Good afternoon. Yeah, who's this? It's me, Pat. Oh, Pat. Yeah, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Um, and I would like to see you if you don't mind. Okay, I hope there is no problem because I'm about going to see Victor. No, that's no problem. Okay, you know what? I would like to see you first before you could go and see Victor. All right. You sound as if something is wrong. Is there any problem? I ask again. No, there is no problem. It's just that I, I, it's not something I, I want to talk to you on phone. Okay, okay, okay. So, why would you want me to meet you? Okay, I will send the address to you now. Alright, I'll be waiting. Okay, I'm sending it right away. Otto, are you sure this is a good idea? 
Just calm down. I don't want to do anything. What do I know? It's just that I, I don't want her to feel that we've been deceiving her all this while. I know. But at least you clear your guilt. Clear your guilt and let him know the truth. What truth? That you're pregnant. That is the problem. Yes, that is the problem. I don't think I have the courage to face that guy right now. Yes. Even if I have to face him, I should let Adam know first. You know how that guy behaves now. Yeah, hmm? I know. I know he doesn't love you. That's the point. He doesn't love me. Oh, what will I do? That guy. I'm so angry with him. I the face for that guy, honestly. It's okay, let me just send the address to Ada now before I forget. You know now. It's alright. I um I was actually on my way to see Victor before you called. Mm. So I'll see you some other time, please. Okay. okay. Thanks for coming. Take care, yeah? Thank you. Why am I so unlucky? That you're pregnant? Yes, Ada. And Victor is responsible? Yes, he is. <sighs> Ada, I am not lying. I just feel I should let you know this. Okay, because I don't know how long I am going to keep this as a secret to myself. Knowing fully well that tomorrow the truth will reveal itself. Maybe by then you might have gone so far in your relationship with him. And of course I know you're going to kill me for life for not telling you. So that's why I've come to tell you. Please. Pat. For how? How long has this been going on? So, you have nothing serious going on with him, yet you allowed him gain access into you? Ada, uh, I am so sorry. Look, I was just carried away because I love him so much. Oh! Oh! You love him? I'm sorry. Please. It's a lie. I'm not responsible for her pregnancy. She's lying. Victor. Victor, why would you say she's lying as if you're not aware? I'm just hearing this for the first time. And it's from you. No, no, no. It's a big lie. Okay, tell me. When you broke up with her, did you sleep with her? Just twice. And she forced herself on me. Not like there is any connection that led to it. Yes, it's nothing serious. You know, when she told me, I, I simply opened up to her that I'm the wrong person in this case. And I asked her to come and open up to you. Quit the relationship you're keeping with Ada. I mean, face part, she's carrying your baby. Are you okay? Are you normal? Why are you sounding like this? The highest I can do is to, to is to pay her off and get married to Ada. What? Victor! <laughs> Man, I can't believe you're this heartless. Let me tell you. You are saying this because you have not fallen in love before. Let me tell you, any day a man falls in love, a fool is born. But don't call me a fool. Yes, wait until you fall in love. Pray for love from me. Baby, baby, love. Victor. Victor. I'm here to declare to something. Before we say anything, Pat should leave us. Pat is not going anywhere. 
something as I need to clarify something before I... Alright, alright. Alright. Who is bad to you? Come on, baby. We have talked about this before. Why bringing up this issue again? Victor, I ask you again. Who is bad to you? Because part here is telling me that she's carrying your child. Carrying my child? How? Well, she's not with any child here now. Oh, please, just cut up this drama. Bart says she's pregnant for you. Pregnant for who? Me? No, now. Ask her now. She's not pregnant. She can't be pregnant for me now. Ask her. She's here. Victor, I am not lying. I am pregnant for you. Bart, so is true. When you told me that you're going to destroy my relationship with Ada, I thought you were joking because I didn't accept to sleep with you. But now my eyes are certain. I can Victor. see it. Victor, why are you lying now? When did I tell you that I want to destroy your relationship with Ada here? Why are you lying against stop me? Stop pretending. I said you should stop pretending. You have tried so many times to discourage me from her. But I refused. When, Victor? Ada is lying, you know. Alright, alright. I'm lying. Were you not the one that told me that you saw Ada and the man inside the car smooching and kissing? Were you not the one? Were you not the one? Me? When? How was that? Okay, 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 fine. I only said I saw uh, Ada in a man's car, but I didn't say she was kissing and romancing the man. Ada didn't say so. Oh. I, I never said so. Oh. You did not kiss, now did you kiss? Victor, why are you lying now? You Stop know, lying now. Enough, enough. Please, don't believe her, please. I am begging you. Just stop all of this. If this girl here was to be your own sister, would you watch another man treat her the way you're treating her? Would you? I am, I, am, I am sorry. It's who I love. It's who I want to spend the rest of my life with. You know what? As for her, I, I, I can bear her off, please. Own up to your responsibility. Be a man and take care of her and this baby. I understand. I, I will bear her off. I don't want you to ever call my line again. Yes, I love you. I love you. Dad, I greeted you when you were walking in, but you didn't respond. Is there any problem? It's a problem. It's a problem. But you're crying. Are you sure you are okay? Please, just let me be. Okay. No problem. I'm actually going to get a tender.
to raise his hands on you. <laughs> eh? What is this now? What's that for? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Ada, Just don't, let it be. Don't tell me that. Don't tell let me it's okay. Be. Don't tell me that. Victor cannot do this to you. He cannot do this to you. I'm your elder brother. And it's my responsibility to take care of you as my sister. My little sister for that matter. What's, what's, what's this now? Eh? How did Victor raise his hands on you? Why? What is this now? Someone is at the door waiting for you. Said his name is Victor. David! Wait, no! David! David! Sit, sit down. David! Wait, oh. so, so after the punch when they give you for inside just now, eh, you still there, yeah? eh? Are they even this as a punch you finish now? Say you go don't go hospital, not be private hospital. You don't go general hospital where you know pay plenty money. Me they check whether the punch this side of the face go your ear. Brother, please call her for me. I want to have a word with her, please. Eh? So you even still they speak English on top of this matter? Hey, <laughs> see, eh? If a guy Dave come at eh? eh? Now me go even tell and say, make it punch your brain. Because it be like say your brain, they, they need to reformat her. You know the year, Abby? Alright, wait, wait. Just help me call her. I will tip you something. Please, I will tip you something. Eh, you go tip me something. Ah, not be your fault. Oh. Now me when shop my school fees. Eh? Eh? So because I they do get mad, you call to say, hungry, they cash me. You go tip me something. When did they tell me, say, make I know they play gamble for school. I know they year. Nah, 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 you they advise me to tip me something. See, eh, when you come out again, if you don't push your eye, eh, now me go tip you something when you take go hospital. You hear me? Help me now, brother. Help me. If I, if I kick you now, No, 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 no. Come on. Brother, please now. Eh? Be cool, please. Oh, It's okay. The old man will make it disappear before morning. Okay. Sorry. Why is this happening to me? What wrong have I done? I'm just trying to get away from one. Here comes another. Am I the most unlucky girl in the world? My sister, no. You're the luckiest person in the world. Okay? How? Is it the hidden truth? That was kept away from me for decades. All the fact that I've been heartbroken by the only man that means so much to me. Is it wrong to give your heart to someone? 
And that is not wrong. It's not wrong at all. I guess I was a fool falling in love. Will there ever be a second chance for me? And even if there's a second chance, how am I sure this whole thing will not repeat in my life? And to crown it all, Will my family <laughs> always be there for me? Ada. Ada will be the last person to abandon you. I will never turn my back on you against all odds. I promise I will be your pillar, your strength, your energy. Just take a sip, okay? Mm. Oh, that's good. That's good. I, I'm actually gonna take some. Mm. You're there. Yeah. How do you feel now? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay, come on, gulp some. Oh, mm. <gasps> that's my girl. <laughs> that's my baby. <laughs> that's my baby. <laughs> I know it's gonna make you feel good. I know. I know. <laughs> mm. <sighs> <laughs> you need some? <laughs> some. Mm. Oh, come on, come on. Not too much 
very early this morning without telling me. Yeah, sorry. I went to my pastor. You get to pastor? I beg. I beg. I'm not in that mood. Hey. Of course I have a pastor. So, yeah. So, tell me. How far between you and David? <laughs> Why the smile? I was a very rich man who was dating a girl. Eight months later, he got married to her and his business crumbled. Things weren't working well. She started giving him issues. Not because he wasn't providing for the family, but because things went so bad. They fight each other every day. <laughs> they lived on the same roof as enemies. To really talk to each other as strangers. It got so bad that the man had to end his own life. <laughs> and the girl was arrested for murder. For things she knew nothing about. Did you see how stupid he was? Because he thinks money could buy love. My pastor's wife today counseled me with the same story I'm telling you when I told her about my relationship with David <laughs> wow I have learned a lot from this story yes it is a whole lot to learn I am revived my pastor's wife advised me to change my attitude. Honestly, I have seen it. I will no longer take harsh decisions, most especially when I'm angry. I've decided to accept my fate. Hallelujah! I will no longer force David into marriage. <sighs> God. If David is mine, God will make it happen. Hmm. I am so happy. I am so like I admire you right now. Mm -hmm. Oh God! But you have to talk to be your brother. You have to talk to him so he can change as well. Obi. Yes. Uh, Obi is calling me. Yes, okay. Yes, hello? Yes? Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Something is fishy. Besides. 
things are not in vain. What can be the secret you hide in from me? Talk to me, what is the problem? What happened to Obi? Take it easy. Can you just shut up and allow me to concentrate and drive? I am driving for Christ's sake! I know you're driving. Why you have to talk to me? What happened? Is Obi okay? Did you see David? Yes, I saw him leaving the house in a hurry. Okay, so did he tell you where he was going to? No. Really, he didn't tell me. I've been trying to reach him on the phone. But he's not been picking his calls. I'm so happy to see my both sisters here. Good to see you. Where is Lizzie? Why are you hiding her? Just calm down. Just calm down. Put your voice low. Lizzie is intact. You know, I want David to show up here. Right here. What? You want David to come here first? For what? I want him to make a promise to you. And what promise is that? I want David to show up here and tell me that he is going to marry my sister right here and right now. Obi, do you know the implication of what you are doing? Holding someone captive for a child over your sister? Are you okay? Yes, I'm here. I know you're smart. I hope you came here with no cops. I came along. I heard all you said, your terms, and I agreed to them. No, no, David, no! I cannot marry David. Marriage is no contract or any kind of deal. You cannot force David in, into marriage. Marriage is an agreement between two persons who are in love. And any other third parties are just witnesses. I've realized that I won't be happy if I force David into my life. Please. What nonsense are you talking about? What do you mean? Read my lips. What I am saying is I cannot marry David. And my decision here is final. Release Lizzie! House! I'll be first to call the cops. Okay. We can't call the cops now. Let's settle this within ourselves. David, you, you, you don't understand this whole thing. What was this thinking? Small boy of his age? Engaging himself in this kind of 
deadly art? David, it's not like I'm, uh, I'm in support of this. Fine! I know I have an attitude problem. I know I can be troublesome. I, I, I reason things differently. I see everybody around me so negatively, but I can never support this. I am so sorry. I know I've caused you so much troubles and pains. I'm not in support of this. Please forgive my brother and I. He's just a little boy trying to protect his sister. So much effort. Why are you doing this? No. You're doing it the wrong way. This is not right. I've even moved on. I'm even trying to change and become a better woman. Not that way, not even here. It's okay, I'm only gonna apologize to you because of my sister. Because I couldn't stand her pass through all these hard things. A lot of people have toyed with her. So I, I just can't stand it. <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna call you guys to my business. I don't understand what is wrong with David these days. Why would he switch off his two phones for almost three hours? Why? <laughs> Ada does not speak my calls. I'll be calling her, she'll just ignore my calls. And she wouldn't call back. She takes mine. Lucky you. Find out what is wrong with her. Ah. Truly, something is definitely wrong. Please. Please. I don't know who you guys are, but don't hurt me, please. David will soon be here. Please don't hurt me. Please. I'm here. Lucy. It's okay. I remember, I remember him. He's one of the boys that chased me the other day. Who are you and why are you after my life? Babe, it's okay. We sorted out all that. Okay? Forget if he's the one that chased the other day or not. We're going to talk about that later. Okay. Lucy. Busy. Thank goodness we're fine. I... I want to personally apologize to you on behalf of my younger brother. I am sorry. Sir? Yes. You mean Obi? Yes. Obi is my younger brother. You remember, my, my auntie took him to Ghana when he was younger. Please forgive him. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for. It's okay. I just want to say I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry. Yeah, baby, I was really astonished by what Lucy did today. You know, I commend her. I commend her. I think she's really amending her ways. Mm. You know, Lucy can be annoying sometimes. I know that she just can't get herself involved with this. <laughs> yeah, I know she's a good-hearted person. Uh, yeah. 
inside she might look tough but outside she's very soft mm. you know so many With you, but what of me that is not tough? Who said you're not tough? But I'm not tough. When you start your madness, the whole world cannot continue. So don't say you're not tough. If you say that again, I am going to stop here and you get me calm and find a way. That's it. That's my mom. <laughs> Now that I have a fat battery, I purposely put off my phone so I won't be distracted with plenty calls. I kept wondering why your two phones will be off. But I think that everything went well. Huh. You know, uh, guys, come in. Come in. I'm going to say. The food is ready. Um, mommy said I should call the both of you. Okay. I'm coming. Yeah, we are coming, eh? Yes, I'm hungry. Oh, Dad? Your phone? Dad, I noticed that since you came back, you've not been feeling fine and you've not rested. Why don't you take a break and rest? I know you have capable hands that can handle your business. Why don't you just take a break and rest? Um, David, I will see my doctor, but that will be later. And we need to talk when I come back. Eh? Uh, before I travel to the village with your mom, you told me about this job you want to secure. And ever since then, I've not heard about it. I'm worried. I'm getting pissed off with this your job thing. Okay, Dad. So you come back then. Right. And uh, don't forget to see your doctor as you said. Yes, I already have your order. You want to add to it? Uh, go ahead. You know what? Send it as a message to me. Yes. All right. Thank you. Good morning. How are you, darling? I'm good. I would like to have a word with you and your sister. Now? Now. Okay. Let Thank me call her. Hey, sis. Thank you. Are you going out? Yes. Hope not with that Victor guy. No. So with who? A friend. Are you sure? Yes. It's Irene. She wants to play return match. Return match? How? She says she wants to host me. Just the way I did on our last outing. Oh, that would be nice. So, can I come along? Okay. But that will be if you foot the bills. How? Oh, you know, I'm not working now. Okay, I know. But I'm also aware that puts money into your account every month. <laughs> okay, I accept. Anyway, mom wants to see us. Really? Yeah. Okay. I hope she's going to say what I want to hear. I don't know. She says she wants to talk to us. So. So. What if it is something you don't want to hear? What will you do? Walk out on me? Mom, you know I wouldn't do that. I don't know anymore. Because you have changed. 
Your father and I were gone for just three weeks. And you turned into something else. Mom, it's not like that. Really? What is it like? I'm referring to two of you. Mommy, no, there's no way I will see your missed calls and I'll not return it. Mm -hmm. So what game were you playing when you switched off your phone for one whole day? Mom, I wasn't playing games. Uh, you know, Lizzie, that, that my friend had told you that they came back from abroad. She had issues with someone and had to go and, re and resolve it. So what has it got to do with switching off your phone? Mom, I did not want any call to distract me, so I had to do that. Well, and you, Ada? I guess you didn't want any form of distraction. That was why you were ignoring my calls today. Mom, I had a heartbreak from Victor. Victor? What happened? The girl he introduced to me as his cousin is actually his girlfriend. And now, the girl is pregnant for him. When you get back to Ghana, I want you to take proper care of Francis' business. You know she's sick. And I fully believe that she will get back to her feet very soon. Okay? That's fine. Uh, I promise I'll, I'll take care of her and the business. As a matter of fact, I'll be doing more better than her. Mm. So, I'll definitely try my best. That's great. I'm proud of you, bro. <laughs> You're welcome. So sad. I'm going to miss you just a little. <laughs> I'll miss you more. Ah. Of course, I'll miss you. <laughs> That's nice. You know, I'm, I'm also proud of you because you're doing great. Yeah. So, Mom, I couldn't have picked your call with everything I was going through at that moment, knowing fully well you would ask me to explain myself just the way you are doing right now. And if I had told you, it would disorganize you from what you went for. That's why I didn't communicate with you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what you're going through now. As a matter of fact, I'm stronger and better now. Um, Mom? Please, can you tell us what you were scared of about Ada when you said that you don't want the history to repeat itself? If, if my presence is not needed here, I can excuse both of you. No, no. You don't need to leave. I had wanted to say it before you interrupted me, but... What Victor did to Ada was exactly what Doka did to me. Onions, onions. 
Mama says so. <laughs> the divine is not divine. Divine is not divine. My love, divine. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know it's me? Huh? What would I know? Your, your scent. You smell like akara akara. <coughs> God forbid. Akara akara. Hmm? <laughs> Why would you say that? Have you two been where they are flying akara? Everywhere will circulate with the aroma of that akara. <laughs> that is how your scent is. Onios, onios. One more say so. God forbid. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I'm hmm? suspecting you. How? How? Why are you suspecting me? If you do now, I'll just kick your leg and run away. <laughs> You know the way, and I'll catch you. You will catch me. I'll catch you. I'll you. catch you. Come on. You can't enjoy yourself. Hello. Yeah, I'm not feeling too well, so I will not be in the office today. How many? Go and supply to our farm. Yes. No, 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 ah, you have not given me any money. Yo. Did you say you gave me money? Alright, let me call you back. Okay. Doka. Here is the food that you asked me to buy for you. Wow. Okay. And this is your change. Ah, you can keep it. I should keep it. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll be leaving. Okay. Alright, Divine. Are you still upset with me? No. If I'm still upset with you, you wouldn't have seen me here. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see, uh, don't worry. I'll come and see your parents when the time is right. You come and see my parents? Yes. What are we looking at? Uh, uh, maybe when you'll be pregnant for me. Okay. What, what if I don't want? Another person will take your place now. Ndoka. Another person will take my place. So you want to use me and dump me, Ndoka? Uh, ah. mm -hmm. I'm just pulling your legs. See, let me tell you. I love you so much. You are my heartbeat. Are you sure? See, let me tell you. Eh? You are the only angel that left heaven. Come to this earth and I grab you. <laughs> ah, my love, yes. thank you so much. You always make me feel so special each time you use these sweet words on me. Yes, because you're so special to me. Ah, see, I can't wait when you give birth to a son for me. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't wait to become your wife, my love. Oh. I love you so much. And I love you too. You know what? Yeah? In fact, you look so beautiful. <laughs> See what will happen now? Like this? Yes, I am taking you out for shopping. Keep dancing. Oh my god, thank dance you so much. Baby. Dance for me, dance for me. Dance, <laughs> dance, 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 dance. Just wait for me, let me go and change. I'm waiting dance. for keep you. Dancing. Keep dancing, keep Ah, uh, who's here? Bring a bad book.
What is it you say you want to tell me? Talk to me now. Nduka. Hmm? I'm pregnant. You're, you're what? Adinime. You're pregnant? You're pregnant? Yes. Wow! This is good news. Is that why you are crying? Good news. Yes? Nduka. I am not happy because you have not done the right thing. Ah, uh, uh, that one is a gradual process. Why, why, why? Yeah? I, nah, eh, divine. Mudoka, mm -hmm. I want us to be fast in planning before my tummy will be pronounced. And also, I want to see your people. You are right. I'll talk to them about it. But first, I need to see them. God, at least we'll start from there. Yes. Ndoka! Ndoka! There's any problem? I came to see Ndoka. Is he having? He's inside. Any problem? I don't understand where this person is coming from. I see you must be a special person to him. Ne. Please go inside and tell your brother that his fiance is here to see him. Eh? So you are the girl that has been servicing my husband. That makes him to forget his wife and his children. So you are the cause. Did you just say husband? Yes. Ever since my husband got a contract here in this town, he has refused to visit home. To visit me and my children. So I can see that you are the cause of it. You are the cause. Yes. Hey, are you sure? Are you sure you are saying the truth? Ebene, what is it? Huh? Why are you causing a scene here? You are the reason I'm causing a scene here. Ah, uh -uh. you are the reason. Ndoka, what are you? What's, what is happening? What is it? Ndoka, is she saying the truth? You're not saying anything. Ndoka. Why did you do this to me? Why did you do this to me, Ndoka? Why did you deceive me? Why did you lie to me? You are not married. Why? Why did you deceive me, Ndoka? Now that I'm pregnant for you, what are we going to do about it? What do we do? What do you want from me, Ndoka? A male child. I want a male child from you. I don't even mind taking you as my second wife. Who for pain? What? You say what you have done? I was embarrassed by Indoka's wife. I was so ashamed of myself. I was heartbroken. I was so broken. I had no other option than to get rid of the pregnancy. Who would have believed that Duka was married? In the apartment where I usually went to see him, there were no wedding pictures. Nothing showed me that he was married. 
He never wore a wedding ring. He was living like a bachelor. I never knew. Until your father came. And everything became history. David, that was all what I've been trying to avoid. I never wanted her to go through what I went through. That's exactly what is happening now. It's okay, Mom. Thank God Pat had to open up about her relationship with Victor in time to me. Maybe history would have really repeated. Yes. I'm sorry. I was why I was being overprotective. But you never come across any victor again in your life. I do not believe the story you told mom back there. This is more than just a fever. Why are you stressing this issue? I said I'm just having fever. I said I don't believe you. Fine. Believe whatever you want. It's none of my business. Not only me. Mom do not believe you either. I overheard her talking to dad about you a few minutes ago. That's so why I'm here, to get the truth from you. So I know how to defend you when that comes. David, what truth do you want to hear? If you were intimate with Victor. Victor again? Yes. Because mom believes that you're pregnant. Your silence here is no more golden. And I ask you again, are you pregnant? Answer now. Talk to me, I said, are you pregnant? Anyway, there is no point asking her whether she's pregnant or not. I'm a woman. I know she is pregnant and I know who is responsible. I told you to be careful. But no, you wouldn't listen. Now it has happened. You are pregnant for Victor. And another girl is pregnant for him. What a disgrace. You disappoint me. And who the hell is that Victor? Anyway, there's no need to waste your time. You and David, your brother, will go and bring that Victor now. Sorry, Dad. Sorry for what? He said I need that veto. <sighs> this has nothing to do with Victor. I don't get it. Talk now! This girl is pushing me off. I'll beat you! I'll beat her. I'll beat this girl up now. I, don't, don't, don't push me. He 
is David. Where does this David live? I will go there personally. Where does he live? Now, who is that David? Where does Talk. he live? Talk now! Sitting at your left hand side. It's a David. Tell me you're joking. Tell me you are joking. You have to stop this. You have to stop this, okay? Please. 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 <laughs> stop crying, please. Okay, do, 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 you, do you know what? Do you know what? I am going to make you happy right now, okay? Come on. Come on. Take some sip. Okay. It's going to make you forget you are. Sorrows and you feel good. Okay? Come on, come on, stop this. Come on. Just take a sip, just take a sip, just take a sip okay? Mm. That's good. That's good. I'm actually gonna take some. Mm. You're there. Yeah. How do you feel now? Oh. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, come on, cup some. Oh. Uh, mm. That's my girl. That's my baby. That's my baby. <laughs> I know it's gonna make you feel good. I know. I know. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you need some? Some. Mm. Oh, come on. Come on. Not too bad. <laughs> Wake up! Wake up! 
Ada ah, wiko. What have we done? Ah. Consequences of this abominable act that you people engage yourselves into. <laughs> what will people say of me when they hear this? That my daughter got pregnant for my son, her older brother? Oh, this is unacceptable. This is totally unacceptable. And take this. This, this you brought me to public ridicule. David is not my brother. Are you out of your mind? No, Mom. I know the hidden truth about me. But I've been patiently waiting for you and Dad to open up to me. What are you talking about? I'm talking about my true identity. If you and Dad truly care about me, you shouldn't have hidden the truth from me. What truth are you talking about? That I'm an adopted child. How did you get this information? From the flash that got missing the other day. I saw the pictures in it, the voice notes. I also overheard your conversation on the phone with some man. I followed you, Dad. I saw you give a bag of money to someone. And I see if that wasn't enough. You call the person on Mr. Felix, telling him not to let me know that I'm an adopted child. Dad. Dad. Mom. Please, I need to know who my real parents are. Who are they? Where do they live? I want to know them. Please talk to me. Truth is, we are not your biological parents. <sighs> we got you from an orphanage. As for your parents, 
We don't know who they are. Mother Teresa, who was in charge of the orphanage, said that someone dropped you in front of the orphanage. You see, after the birth of David, we still needed a child, a girl child. But because of what happened to me in the past, Gush of water. Even when I'm not feeling pressed. that I feel this feverish and there's this strange abdominal pain that I'm, oh, I'm having here. Hey, why didn't you tell me when I was leaving the house this morning? I'm I sorry. would have taken you to the hospital. My love, I'm sorry. I thought it was just a normal pain. A normal pain, you say? Woman, you're damn pregnant. You're not supposed to discard things like this. Oh no, just take it easy, okay? Let me go right in and drop my bag. Right. I'll come back right now and take you straight up to the hospital. Okay, I'll be waiting. When your father brought me home after delivery, I noticed that he was not in a good mood. He wasn't happy. I tried to find out what happened. For five days, I was still asking him before he finally opened up. Honey? Yes, darling. Look at me. Look at me. You look so worried. What is it? What is bothering you? Is there anything you can tell me? You will share with me? Or maybe I did something to you that you do not want to tell me? <sighs> Honey. Please talk to me. We have been wearing this face for almost five days now. And I don't like it. Oh, please talk to me. Alright. Promise me you won't be hungry with yourself. Or anybody if I ever say this to you. Oh, I promise. What is it? You remember when I encouraged you on the CS? Yes, which I refused. My love, it was Dr. Williams that told me to encourage you there. He felt you were going to listen to me. And you and I know it took you almost three or four days before you eventually delivered. And then he requested I followed him to his office. Um, Mr. Nathan Akui. Yes, Dr. Williams. 
uh, it's uh, been three days now since your wife is in labor. And uh, you know, delay in delivery, especially when the child is also being delivered, hmm. can lead to complications. Um, Doc, as it stands now, what do you think we can do? Uh, we have tried all the cool to advise your wife to go into serious delivery. Hmm. Uh, but the induction of labor thing, I don't know why she is head bent on delivering like other women normally. So I, I would advise you talk to her. Make her understand that it's risk-free delivering to receive. Of course she doesn't want that. Wow. Okay. I will. But let me speak with her first. Thank you very much, Doctor. I quite appreciate it. to your wife what we discussed? Yes, I did. So She's still proving very stubborn. And I'm very worried right now. Listen, doctor, I don't want anything to happen to my wife or our baby. It's okay. Don't push her any further. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, I will place her on some antibiotics. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, Why she's still in labor. All right. So don't worry. Okay. All right. Doctor, please, I need you to put in your best. Please. Don't worry, of course. Thank you. Wait. Give me some more five. Make sure you go on the road. Yes, sir. Come on. Please, quickly attend to this person. Okay, sir. I'll teach you first. Okay, sir. Mr. Okoye. Yes, Dr. Williams. Uh, are you aware that your wife had an abortion some time ago? Uh, yes, that was shortly before we got married. But. Is she okay? Uh, for, for now. Oh. But there is a problem. That was why I asked to see. Wait, Dr. Williams. I hope this is not a matter of life and death. No, uh, Your wife had an infection that affected her too. What? Uh, many things can cause this. Uh, the flow of water, which she neglected, the history of her uh, abortion, uh, the <laughs> premature rupture of membrane uh, with prolonged labor that was not properly handled. Uh, that one can also cause. Uh, pelvic inflammatory disease, which can also affect her womb. That is why we always advise women to go through CS if there is any form of delay in normal delivery. Uh, wait, Dr. Williams, are you in a nutshell telling me right now that my wife? Cannot conceive. Is that what you're telling me? I'm afraid, Mr. Okoye, but that is what it seems like. No. No. I need a break right now. This is not good news. 
Yes, it's not. Let me advise you. At this point in time, I don't think you should let her know that this is her cause. I don't want you to let her know that she costs this out of maybe carelessness. You need to tell her things that she needs to hear. You need to be more than a husband to her right now. <sighs> Do you know my wife and I, we are already looking forward to a baby girl as our next child? That shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I would advise you to go to IVF or Dr. Chan in one of the small days. What's going on? Your wife delivered the dancing baby boy. Wow! Wow! Are you for real? <laughs> Doctor, I owe you one. Right. I quite appreciate every effort of yours right now. Exactly. Can I take her home now? Uh, no, no. Uh, she complained about uh, feeling hot. Oh. I think we should treat her. Okay. Yes. Meanwhile, you can come and see the baby. Oh, and thank you very much. Wow! I'm What are you saying? Everything should happen to my sister, you know? So, fine, calm down. Fine. My negligence caused me not to have another child after David. So, when he was three, we decided to to adopt a girl child. When the IVF I did failed, we had to call Dr. Williams. Yes, your, your husband told me about it. And it's a welcome idea. It's nice. Uh, I told him about an injection that when you take it, your tummy will actually look as if you're pregnant. Really? Yes. And he also told me how he planned to do the whole thing so that people will not be aware that you guys actually had an option. Yes, doctor. Yes, both of us agree that nobody should know about this. Um, you see, Dr. Williams, I did actually have this plan to fly her out shortly before delivery time. Everything is well planned. Okay, if that is what Mr. and Mrs. Okoye agreed on, I will play my part to make sure that everything goes smoothly. That sounds good. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Doctor. The pictures of me you saw with protruding stomach was just an illusion. We just wanted people to believe I was pregnant the second time. We did not want them to know that we were going to adopt you. So that the stigma will not be on you. <sighs> hey. 
hearing all this left me with no word to say. I am just speechless. How do I go about this pregnancy now? I bought it. What? Let me right? Say about the pregnancy. No, Dad. History cannot repeat itself. We just heard Mom's story. And I will keep the pregnancy. Well, who the hell do you think you are? Do you have a say in this? Don't forget this is my house. I'm in charge and not you. Now listen, listen. You do have just two options. It's either Ada aborts the pregnancy and stays. You stay. Or she keeps the pregnancy and leaves. You, David, live with her. No need. He left us with an option to choose. Come on, let's go. No, no, please, please. I'll talk to him. Don't take anything he has said to heart, please. Why am I so unlucky? Why should I keep crying now? Every day is from one problem to the other. I just apologize every day. Oh, why me? Hey, oh, why me? Why is this happening to me? Hey, why am I so unlucky? Why am I always a victim? Oh, why me? Okay. Hey. See, as long as I'm alive, I will never allow anything to happen to you. You know, our baby, okay? <laughs> yes, I agree that we've made this mistake, but it has been done. <laughs> it has been done already. I promise to always take care of you. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you for always being my strength. Thank you. Ada, and I will never allow you shed tears again. Okay? I promise you. It's okay. support your only daughter into having an abortion. Please, can you hear yourself? What do you expect the world to say of me? Clap for me? For raising kids? That become nothing? Oh, if you have another thing to say, say it. Else, go in there, get set to go to shop. Please. Please, please, please calm down. Please calm down. Let us look for a better alternative. We are Christians. What other alternative? What, what, what other alternative? No, no, no. Please, please. Don't get me angry. Go in. Get set for sure. Please, I'm leaving. See you later. Ada. 
Ada? 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 What's this? Uh, yes, yes. They come out early morning, like around 5.36. Uh, they be like people when they travel. They were carrying bags? Ah, heavy, heavy bag. Oh. They don't carry them only there. You are a fool! Why did you not tell me? What? Oh my god. Amaka. Hey, hey. Amaka. Hey, what's going to happen? Okay. Hey. They are... What happened to the gate for me? Eh? Yes, yes! Uh, Emeka, have you seen them? You divine. <sighs> sit down, sit down. But when they call you, you will let me know, right? My children call you. Did it not? Oh no, 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 no problem. No, no, no. I I was just checking if they called you. Did it not? It's okay. Thank you. Hmm. So David and Dada have the gods. No problem. But well, honey, you will still do something right. Me? To do something? Listen, I will never make any attempt to look for them. In fact, they shouldn't bother coming back to this house. How far? Hmm. When I got there, I met Amaka who told me they both traveled. Oh. Is that the reason they've been ignoring calls? I tell you. I tell you. No. Oh, I stopped calling. So it won't look like I'm trying to find my way back to his life. But the other that I know, she will not just ignore my calls like that. I think something is wrong. If there is any problem, 
Amaka would have told you. Or oh, should we call Lizzie to verify if she has heard from them? Yes. I can even give you Lizzie's number if you don't mind. All right. That would be nice. Let me just question up. Come on. Fine. Hey. I'm just waiting for you to come back, so we eat. You've not eaten up to now? No. Why must you starve yourself because of me? Why? David, you know I don't know how to eat alone. No, 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 no. You don't have to do this now. Eh? You're not only starving yourself, but the baby in your womb. You don't have to do this, please. At the next time, don't do this, please. Else I'll report you to baby. Please don't report me to baby. Okay, I've heard you. So how did you go? Hmm. It was terrible. I was attacked by some boys while coming back home. And they made the way with everything I had. My files, my 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 the, 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 the food items I bought when I was coming back. Everything. Sorry. Think they didn't want you, right? No. They just took everything. Sorry. It's okay, let's go inside. Let's go. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, sir. Come on. Why is it? Why am I so unlucky? Why should I keep crying? Like every day. It's from one problem to the other. I tears up on tears every day. Oh, why me? Oh, why me? Why is this happening to me? Why, why am I so unlucky? Why am I unlucky? Good evening. Good evening, Adam. How did your day go? Mommy, you just called me Adam now. Ah. I'm sorry. I was just thinking about them when you walked in. How was the sales at the shop? Oh, mommy, we sold well. Mm -hmm. Almost 190,000 naira. Wow. You didn't get the alert. You know, I don't usually use that phone unless I'm coming to the shop. Okay, that's true. You tried. <laughs> Thank you very much. Go and look for something to eat, okay? Okay, mommy. How was the interview? My dear, it didn't go well. At all. What happened? <laughs> they said I should pick a form of 5,000 naira before they could attend to me. When I went to the bank to withdraw some money, only for me to notice that my account was frozen. Frozen? Yes. How possible is that? They said it's been going on for five days now. And I'm sure your own is not exempted. What makes you think so? Ada, I need no one to tell me that dad is behind all this. You have a point. He thinks we can survive without him. He lies. What is it? Your mood just changed. David, I had... I had a very terrible dream about that this afternoon. 
aunt. I saw that in your hospital bed with nurses attending to him. Is that is that why you're worried? Of course. I should be worried. Why? Because he's your father, David. And my father really ought to be. A man who can go to an extent of freezing his children's account is not worthy to be my father. David, I understand how you feel. But think about mom. If you feel that does not care about us, what of mom? Hmm? You cannot carry this hatred for long. As a matter of fact, I think we should go and see them. Let's go and see them. We are not going anywhere. Uh, I know I've hurt both of you. Please forgive me. Ever since you left this house, things have not been the same with me. I feel the loneliness, I feel the emptiness. So, once again, you are welcome home. This is your home. This is your house. I am not stopping you from being together. But I'll make a publication to the effect that Ada is my adopted daughter. The publication will go viral, but with time it will fade away. You are welcome home. You're welcome back home, my children. Dad, I will not accept it. David! Yes, Ada. Trust me. What are you up to now, son? Mom. What Dad did not do before we left, I should be the one giving conditions here. If we're going to stay or not. And what was that? Okay. That you're going to bless us. I mean, Ada and I. If you really want us back. That's good. That's fine. I'll do that. But also have my own condition. Which is? You can see my health is failing me. And I'm no longer as strong as I used to be. I can no longer attend to my numerous businesses. So I need someone to run my businesses for me as I'm retiring from active business due to health reasons. That's good to hear. And that person to take over my businesses is you, David. You can agree to that. Bless you. It's if you fail, I'm back off. Dad, no, no, no. You got me on this. You really got me on this. Yes. Okay. Then consider me the new CEO of your company. Oh, good. 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 Very fine. Then, yeah. You will have my blessing. You, you another. Come here. Okay. This is. Yeah. It's good food. Of life. Yes, so it's 
Why am I so unlucky? Why should I keep crying? I, every day is from one problem to the other. I tears up on tears every day. Oh, why me? Hey, oh, why me? Why is this happening to me? I, why am I so unlucky? Why am I always a victim? Oh, why me? Hey. Ah. Oh, why me? Hey. Oh, why me? Hey. Just like yesterday, we are living as one big family. Who knows I'm only a stranger? Oh no, I'm not who I think I am. Why me? Why is this happening to me? Oh why me? Oh why me? Oh why me? Why is this happening to me? Oh,